Okay. We understand here about the when diagrams. Now we saw something which was called a universal set, which is a collection of all subsets. Then we saw subset. Basically, the relationships between various sets, let's say sets A, B, C, etc. The relationship between these sets can also be represented by means of a Venn diagram. And how do you represent a Venn diagram? A Venn diagram basically is represented by a rectangle and within the rectangle you can have certain figures. So let's say this rectangle is called U or the universal set. Then you have various sets, let's say set A, set B, set C. And whatever are the numbers between, let's say set A is equal to 1, 2. Set B is equal to 2, 3. So if you have to represent this in a Venn diagram, A contains of what? 1 and 2. So which is the portion with that A is predominantly having? It's this portion. So you put in 1 over here and 2 is also there. Now if you see, B comprises of this portion, right? And B has what? 2 and 3. So 2 lies in both A and B. And which is the portion which represents both A and B? It's basically the shaded portion. So basically 2 has to lie somewhere here. You will have 1 over here and you will have 3 over here. So through Venn diagrams, basically you represent the relationships and the contents of a particular set. Let's say you have the universal set equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. You have A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and you have B equals to 3, 4, 5. Okay? Now if you have to represent it in this universal set, how do you do it? So you will first of all make a circle, let's name it as A. Then you have B. So basically within universal set you have two subsets A and B. Now is there something common between these two? Yes. 3 is common between both of them. So therefore some part of B has to coincide with A. Why? Because there is something common. So this common region will represent 3, which is the common number. What else does 1 have? A has. A has 1 and 2. So you put 1 and 2 here. What else does B has? 4 and 5. Okay. Now, but the universal set in itself contains more than these three numbers. 1, 2, 3 and 3, 4, 5. What is it? It is 6. But 6 does not fall in either A or either B. And what is the universal set? Universal set is represented by this entire rectangle. So you can put 6 here. And that's how basically you create a Venn diagram out of this relationship. Similarly, you can create many more Venn diagrams to understand the dynamics of sets. We will take some more questions on this. In the meanwhile, you can please visit our website and join us on Facebook and our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to remain aware of all the further developments that we would be doing.